welcome back to Good Morning Top News. So again, we are back again on, on um, Top View News. Top View News, yes. Yeah, where yeah, everybody has a, their say. The citizen um, give us their verdict and their. So you want black people on the on the. You say everybody have their say. Yes, everybody have their say. Yes. So, so to the business of the news. Um, Israel um, retaliation on uh, in Gaza breaches um, international law, says um, island leaders. Um, <laughs> the truth is, it is very difficult, extremely difficult. It will be a herculean task to say you will retaliate in that magnitude without having civilian casualties. But I think what you should look at is to what extent are they deliberately are they are they really deliberately targeting civilians, innocent citizens? I don't think so. But look at what is has happened. We have a social here, even the Hamas themselves, they do not isolate themselves. They mix up with the people. That's why it behoves on the people to even give out credible information so that Israel can isolate and take out the Hamas. Members, so but the social where they mingle with them, the infiltration that means they expose themselves to danger. That's the truth. So, do you think there should be another way for Israel to go about than um, going to war uh, with the whole Palestinian? The truth is, a good number of them are members of Ham um, Hamas. Hamas is an Islamic group that is like an extremist, and they do not hide their hatred for Israel. We are seeing the unprovoked attack where Israel lost about 1,300 persons and is still counting. Under this circumstance, if you allow the civilians not to lie, they will still have another opportunity to come back to attack. And Israel, sorry, the strip of Gaza has become an abode for them to launch such, um, such attack. So for me, I think Israel has a right to defend their citizens. And I think that's what they are doing. It's quite, um, as a nation, it behoves on you to protect the sovereignty and integrity of your country and your citizen. And I think that's what Israel is doing. All right, so uh, thank you for that. Uh, coming back to Nigeria here, uh, Tinubu, the president of Nigeria, urged the Supreme Court to dismiss Article of Peace. Says that the article fabricated his claim of a um, discrepancy on his results, on his credential. I believe the court has taken possession of all the evidence has been tendered by article. So it is uh, within the right of um, the president, Senator Amabola Tinubu, to respond to the evidence is tendered. Don't forget that even at the level of district court in the United States of America, the president objected to giving out those his academic record to article, arguing that if they do so, that is going to make him to suffer irreparable damage and injury. Up to now, say, ask him, what are those irreparable damages and injuries that Mr. President would have suffered if those records were released, you not know, as we speak, they have released? So for me, to speak directly on the issue in Supreme Court will make prejudice, and I would not want to prejudice the outcome of that case. All right, so um, do you see the Supreme Court turning this over? And with the evidence available now, can the Supreme Court um, stop um, President um, Bola Metinou? Answer your question is asking me to give judgment, and not the arbiter. So we wait for the Supreme Court to give their judgment. All right, um, and again, um, the president has appointed in Bayo Ononuga as a um, special advisor of the post formation strategy. He's coming to late. He's coming to late. Don't forget that Ononuga was the uh, spokesperson of Tudubu Shetima campaign organization. So to that extent, he's a close ally and friend of Mr. President. So it's not surprising when such person is given political appointment and in that capacity because where he served during the campaign is a similar role. So for me, I think I know, it's not surprising, it's rather coming to me. So I know you also heard um, Abati said um, told um, um, Peter Obi 
to find uh, a career in evangelism after he gave um, his, um, his own view on the um, president's identity, saying the president to come out clean on his identity. Yes. I think he has many plain politics. We are what people this said. Brothers on his appraisals, academic record, his school attended, his age. I mean, his dad, 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 all right, sir. So, uh, so thank you for that. Um, that is all I have for you this morning. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you for your time, sir. Uh, so good morning, Mr. Um, Charles. Uh, good we're morning, sir. On, um, of you know, it's um, a pleasure having you again today. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, as usual, um, to the business of the um, Island um, leader said um, Israel retaliation on um, Palestine um, is against the international law. The retaliation is against the international law. You support this? Well, uh, well, I am. Should there, should, is there any other way for Israel to go about this? Yes, there are other ways for them to go about it by dialogue, like I, I read this yesterday. Uh, dialogue would have been the best way of uh, going through all those things. But Remember, they also have um, they counted um, debt in their nation. That, I don't is, think that is where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. you are right. Uh, dialogue would have been the best solution. But you see, the problem we are having is that uh, the Palestinians were the first people to have moved the submission of the fight and uh, they started the fight before the other party. So looking at what happened, Israel, we are not ready to fight the Palestine. And you find out that Israel are not even after anybody. But when you look at what about that makes uh, the Israelites to fight the Palestine, it means that they have been, you know, they have touched them and whatever they have done to them have gone into their bone marrow that, have, that makes them not happy for them to have gone into their retaliation uh, mode. So I, we are, yes, the international law states that they have gone contrary to uh, uh, the international law by going into retaliation. But where were they? Where were the UN? Where were the United uh, United Nations when most of these people were going contrary to, you know, when they were killing the Israelites, killing them, raping them, and doing other things to their women? So sometimes these people, they don't know, sometimes I, I will look at it as if they don't know what they are doing or they don't know what they are saying. Somebody was busy killing somebody and raping all their women. We did not come out at the same time to caution those people, but what did he do? He kept quiet until those people decided to retaliate and you are giving them a backlash that, that it is now against the international law. It, it is not fair. It's not fair. All right, so uh, thank you for that. Um, also, uh, in Nigeria, yeah, the president has um, urged the Supreme Court to dismiss Article's appeal, saying that um, Article has fabricated um, his claim of um, discrepancy in. Um, is credential um the the issue the case between atiku and abubaka atiku uh, uh, and tinubu tinubu should not uh counter whatever uh what, what, whatever whatever that has been brought by atiku abubaka to the court it is not personal submission it's better for the mental woman right to do that so he should tell he should be able to calm down allow the court to rule over whether article is right or article is not right. So Tinubu should calm down and relax first. Let's wait and see what it will have, whatever the court will give us as a final verdict from the court of law, because that is the only submission uh, the, we are waiting the, for. The, the, the evidence are clear and clean now. Do you, do you see the um, Supreme Court turning this over? Can this be the first time in Nigeria where a president will be on seat? But you know that, that is our prayer, so that tomorrow we we'll live to tell our unborn kids that there was once upon a time there was a time when a Mr. President uh, was dethroned simply because uh, whether his result was not okay or the election that was what I may call election on my practice. But what we need to understand here is that 
most of those people are the upper hand, being the Supreme Court members, the judges and the justice, are also under the payroll of Mr. May Volatilibu. Are you getting me? So definitely he might have brought them over. So whatever whatever we are seeing now, it's just for people like us, people and I, to come out here and air our view on a daily basis. But we all know the truth that nothing of sort will ever happen. The Nigerian judiciary will never give it in support, they will never give it or never give it in support of who? Atiku Abubaka. Because a lot of them are still under the submission and under the emergency of Ahmed Bolatinibu. So definitely, we are not expecting anything more than they're giving it to Ahmed. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, so that's all I have for you. Now, this, Before, uh, this rain, um, the rain is coming. This is my number. 070-3231-7103. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. We, we, we are meant to serve you well. Thank you very much. God so bless thank you. Uh, Mr. Charles. So that's all for Mr. Charles. And that is his number. You can get to him, reach out to him. Don't give me and, the um, Don't give me that so, so, uh, <laughs> so that's all from um, our viewer today. Uh, we are trying to beat the rain, as you can see, it has all been back here, right? Um, life here at Ogba. So, just to beat the rain now, we are cutting this shot. Um, thank you for watching today's program. Top View News is here to give you the insight and view and um, the opinion of the people on the bit on the daily basis. So Please um, continue to tune in every day. To those that are just joining us, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button so as to get um, an update of video every day. Thank you again. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.